Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Watch Monkey and today we've got a good one. We're going to be talking about a very iconic watch and that is the Hamilton Jackie Field. Now what makes this one kind of a little bit unusual is that I purchased a quartz version of this watch which really is not my favorite but the price was right and I just couldn't resist. So I'll get into the details about the watch and uh, the price that I paid for it. But really, if you're looking for just an all around great watch that's reliable, uh, that looks great, uh, this could be the watch for you. But anyways, let's turn the camera around and we'll get into today's video. Now that we've got the camera flipped around, let's take a look at the uh, watch in question. So the one that I was talking about was the Hamilton Khaki Field. Now this comes in a lot of different variances and sizes. This particular one is the quartz model, which really is kind of my least favorite. Uh, it does come in an automatic, and it also does come in a hand wind, which is my favorite. Uh, and I'll explain later why. But really, if given the choice between these type of watches, I will always take the hand wind every single time. So this one here, the reason why I picked this one up was it was way too good of a deal to pass up. I picked this up for, believe it or not, $100 um, off a auction on eBay from uh, a seller back east. So I got really fortunate on this and uh, my wife is using this one now and she loves it. But it is a quartz watch. It's a Swiss quartz movement, which uh, is nice. And uh, you can see here when I pull the crown out there, it hacks, of course, and you can set the date by going one in, or if you're in the full in position, you just pull out. Notice it's not a screw in crown. And by rotating oh, the wrong way, there we go. This, uh, you can uh, see that it, it changes the date. So that's how you change the date. And you, if you want to change the time, you pull it out one more notch and you can change the time. So here in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, it is 20 after 6, or I should say 20 to 6. So there you go. So it's got the correct time now. Wrong date, but I'm not worried about that for now. Let's just push that back in. There are advantages of having a quartz watch. First of all, they're typically much more accurate than any automatic or hand wind watch out there. Another advantage is that uh, it keeps running until one day the battery runs dead. And uh, depending on the watch, that can be from two to five years. Uh, without having to worry about having the watch go dead. But anyway, I'll flip the watch over and you can see here, that's the case back. Uh, okay, and it's a very nice case back. I actually used to like display backs, but I've kind of changed my mind now. Um, I'm liking these uh, solid case backs with some sort of engraving or embossment on them. Uh, for me, it's a little bit more interesting, I guess, because I know what a automatic or a hand wind movement looks like. This is an aftermarket strap on this watch. It did come with the original leather strap, but uh, I wanted to put it on this because I thought, hey, it looks good. And it's also a quick release. So you just pull that and uh, you can swap, uh, swap over these straps very easily. Now this is one watch I don't think looks very good on bracelet. Um, yeah, it just kind of looks off. But anyway, I'm going to give you a quick measurement here. I know offhand, this is 38 millimeters in diameter. So you can see there, it's 38 millimeters. If you go to the crown, it comes in at roughly 40, uh, 41.8, almost, let's call it 42. Now this watch, for a 38 millimeter watch, does wear, wear large because of the lug to lug distance. So that's the distance from here to here. And let's just get that measurement there. And you can see that's 47.1, which is fairly long, um, but not that long, but it is fairly long. And you can see the, uh, the width from the base of the watch to the top of the crystal, which is domed, and it is sapphire, comes in at 9.2 millimeters. So not a very thick watch at all. Um, typically I like my watches a little bit bigger. I think the perfect size for me is around 41 or 42 millimeters, uh, depending on the watch. I'll, I'll quickly throw this one on wrist for you guys so you can see what it does look like. So here we go. 
going to have to excuse me while I do this off camera. And there we have it. Okay, so that's what it looks like on my wrist. And for those of you that don't know, my wrist is approximately seven inches. So that'll give you an idea what it looks like. So you can see from leg to leg, it actually fits very nicely. Uh, it's actually a perfect fit. But I like the face of the watch to be a little bit larger for my own personal taste. But this is very doable. Now, given the choice, again, I would have taken the mechanical watch over this. But because of the, the price, it's too good to pass up. So I was going to uh, not turn that down. Now, these watches have been uh, produced uh, for uh, the U.S. military uh, for the World War. And uh, so from 1960 to about 1980s, uh, they were making the Hamilton khaki field. So the ones you get now are reproduction. This is a slightly older version, by the way. And the way you can tell, too, is the writing on the watch there. It says khaki. There's so many variances of these. Um, the other thing I should mention, the sizes, they come all the way down to about a 34 millimeter, uh, all the way up to a 44, which is here. And this is the Hamilton khaki officer. Uh, fantastic watch. This is actually one of my favorite watches of all time. Uh, just a fantastic movement on the back too. I'll just flip, flip it over so you can see for yourself here. And you can see the mechanics of the watch there in that window. It says Hamilton Khaki Mechanical, 44 millimeters. The movement is the ETA 6497 and it has the uh, water rating and so on there. And there is the model number there. So, yeah, obviously Swiss made. Uh, this is, if you guys have a chance of getting one of these, pick one of these up. Um, typically, you're going to pay around, well, you can't, I don't think you get these new anymore. So you're going to wind up getting a used one. But there are a lot of uh, nice used ones out there like this. Um, for around the, I'd say around five $600, you should be able to pick one of these up. And it's a great watch. Now, the other watch I want to show you very quickly. Now, these are getting really pricey, and this is the, the L.L. Bean model. Um, again, this comes in a lot of variances with different names on it. Some will say Hamilton. Some will say L.L. Bean, which is a, a I guess back in, in the day, it was a sporting goods manufacturer or something uh, as well. Um, I forget, forget about the L.L. Uh, this is a uh, just an acrylic crystal on here, and there's the case back there. Uh, it is a screw down, uh, so you've got to rotate it to get it off. And what else can I tell you about this? Uh, they're getting pricey. Uh, typically, these will go anywhere from about from a low of about three or four hundred dollars up to a thousand dollars, depending on the condition. This one here uh is in very very good con get condition and it's all original there's nothing been replaced on it so that's a really great one if you've managed to find one of these and you can pick it up for like three four hundred bucks jump all over that uh, so that's my three hamilton khaki field watches now let's uh quickly go back to this one here and uh like i said these come in a lot of variances they come like i said in the automatic a hand wind and the quartz. And like I said, I would always take the hand wind over the uh, quartz or the hand wind. Uh, just something magical about hand wind watches. It's simplicity and the fact that you interact with it on a daily basis, winding it and so on. It's kind of a ritual. You have your cup of coffee, you wind your watch and off you go, you're set for the day. I guess it's kind of um, neat that this watch comes to life because of you <laughs> in a bizarre kind of way. Um, yeah. Also, I should mention, too, this is the date version. It comes without a date as well. Some people prefer without a date because it's more original and uh, it's a cleaner, more symmetrical design on the face. I kind of disagree. I like having the date on there. That's one of the functions on a watch that I use very, very often. So I've got no problems having a date long as it's well executed. You can see here as well on the dial, it's got your standard numbers around the outside. And then on the inside, it's got the 24 hour type dial. So you've got both there. 
What else can I tell you about these watches? They're fantastic. Uh, they're very well known as a really, really great field watch. Um, I would say almost iconic. Uh, if you have a chance, like I said, this is kind of the one that you really want. If you don't mind bigger watches, this is a 44 millimeter show. It's a big watch. I'll throw this on my wrist too as well. So you can have a quick idea and see what it looks like on wrist. And you can see here, it does take up a lot more of my wrist than the uh, 38 millimeter uh, quartz version. By the way, the quartz version and the mechanical and the hand wine, uh, the mechanical and the uh, automatics are very uh, much looking the same as this. One of the glaring differences, though, I shouldn't say glaring, is that the on the mechanical version, the lugs are drilled. So that's something to keep in mind. But um, yeah, my love for Hamilton continues. If you get a chance to pick up a, a Hamilton khaki field, highly, highly recommended. They've been making those watches for some time. They're proven. They're tough. Excellent watches. Well, I'm going to call that a wrap for today. I hope you guys learned a little bit uh, about uh, the Hamilton Khaki Field. If you're interested in these watches, I will leave some links. I'll also leave some links for uh, more information about these watches. There's just too much information on the uh, Hamilton Khaki line. Uh, like I said, uh, there's all kinds of variances. They've even got a new PVD version. But anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will be more than happy to answer your guys' questions. Fantastic watches, guys. Don't miss the opportunity to pick one up. You will not be disappointed. Um, yeah, that's it. That's a wrap. Okay, guys. Oh, a, 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 a. I almost forgot the loom shot. Okay, so here we have all three watches loomed up. Here is the Hamilton Khaki Mechanical Officer. There you can hardly see it as the pocket watch, which is pretty much almost no loom left. And there, glowing very brightly, is the Hamilton Khaki Quartz. Very nice loom. So again, those are the three. That's it. Okay, that's a wrap, everyone. Bye-bye.